Welcome to the channel, a Jaden Chase. And if you're new, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, as law enforcement digs through Gene and Pantan's finances ahead of the slated payback for the 39 other clients along with UCN Bolt, it is now being rumored that Pantan might have hid the money in accounts belonging to friends, just as was done in the Sajikor fraud, as said by the attorney for one of the sisters. Let me continue to go on the reasoning. Look and listen. Here goes some, and I want to make it clear that Miss Alicia Mosman White is innocent in this matter, and she is eager to clear her name. Can you say that again for me? You said that she's innocent. When was this Absolutely money deposited? innocent. Okay, when was the money deposited? This money is the money was deposited about in August of last year. Right? And so she has no knowledge of this money and she did not authorize these monies and she's absolutely one hundred percent innocent in this matter. We think and believe that the prosecution is on a fishing expedition as it as it regards to Miss Alicia Morton White. Okay, what's the state of mind of your client right now? Well, she's anxious as anyone would be in these circumstances, but she remains faithful in God and she knows that she's innocent and she's eager to clear her name. You, uh, she made mentions or intentions of seeking to travel overseas to Canada, am I correct? Uh, no, no comment on that at this time. Okay, all right. Are you satisfied with the conditions, sir? That's what I said. Repeat that, please. Are you satisfied with the conditions? Bail conditions. conditions. Well, I'm satisfied with the conditions. She's on bail. She got station bail in the sum of $1 million and that remains travel um her 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 travel documents have been taken that is a standard and she has to report so i'm satisfied there was there was some confusion about her, her present address on a what, what, no no confusion about her present address her present address is what it is mr Hyatt, you said that money was deposited in august but uh, we heard you requested um video footage for the oh, september 21st 20, 22nd and 31st What's the discrepancy there? The well, that, that's the discretion. That's the, that's the discrepancy that we want to clarify, right? She has no knowledge of the monies that were placed into her account. She did not authorize any money to be placed into her account, cash deposits, and that. And so we want to see who it is placed these monies into her account. This is a multi-million-dollar fraud, and she's only charged for six hundred and sixty-one thousand dollars. So. I don't know where the prosecution is going with it, but we will see. She's eager to clear her name, and that's what we want to do. Was she aware of the money being deposited? No, no, comment, that, no yeah. comment at this time on that. In total, right. for, all, for a woman, woman, is it $69 million or is it $65 million? Can you say? I was told the allegations are $65 million. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Now, this might be one of the reasons why law enforcement has seized Pantan's assets, but has still not located the billions of dollars. The, most, the money must be somewhere. Is that the money was spent, sent overseas, or is hidden in accounts for people where she knew. And clearly the plan is to, after serving her sentence, be released, and then somehow still be a billionaire somewhere somehow do either ssl or Panton herself will have to pay back usain bolt and the other 39 clients of the ssl investment company talk to me in the comment section tell me what you think now on to the other stories making headlines today now of course condolences to the three individuals family whose lives were taken in a motor vehicle collision that took place on the mandeville winston jones highway now the deceased have been identified as 43 year old wayne morris 25 year old darnley clark and fabian utter now remember when you from them families and they will contain the reason look and listen he was a jovial person, always smiling, very supportive, helpful. You can always rely on him to assist his dad in the business. 
these glass, these glasses. I don't even know how we're gonna go forward knowing that he's not around. Always smiling, always supportive, jovial, helpful, dependable. He doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, he doesn't, it's just work, school, and home. A good son. My favorite was. Well, um, he was, he went to um, UA. Um, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, he had two, some subjects to read to um, do because of the COVID. He had um, suspended class for, classes for a while, so he decided to continue. He was hesitant because then, because of the COVID, he was um, involved <coughs> in the business. No one <coughs> saw where he was gonna take it to the next level. He was coming from school yesterday and we called him around, I think around 8 o'clock to, to ask him where he was. He said he was fine. Daddy, I'm in Mandeville. I'm taking a taxi now to come up so you can just meet me at limit. Mm. And that was the last we heard from him. Yeah. We heard um, around 9 o'clock or so somebody called to see him. There's an accident, and um, he's in the he's in the he's in the taxi. And it, there's an accident. We went. Um, we immediately drove out. On our way, we just we, we thought that oh, we didn't hear anybody calling again to say anything. We called. They said he's in the car. When I heard that he's in the car. He's still in the car. Mm -hmm. I figured it wasn't good because I was saying, why would he still be in the car? Why did somebody didn't take him out and uh, assist him to the hospital? So, so I heard he was trapped in there because my daughter went to the scene and. Um, she, her intention was to assist them to ensure that they took him out properly because she's a medical doctor. She was she wanted to ensure that um, if anything and they were removing him, it was done properly. But when she reached there, he was uh, seemed as if he was already gone. Fabian was a person full of life, jovial, down to earth, easy going, hard working. He came to Ludo with me for the past five years now. I come in the community and I knew him before he, he joined the organization that I work with. And from the joining, we know him as a very decent, humble, nice worker. Very, very committed person. It's very, very hard to know that we lose a person like this. And where he works, at the Manu Hospital, everybody is supposed to miss him because he's a humble and a nice worker. We have lost a stalwart in the community. He's a young man, but you could consider him as an old person. He had the values, he had the attitude, he had the right skills because it's like him, 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 he's in the community as an old person. You would have think him much older than he really is. Very valuable. Someone who you could go to for advice. Sometimes someone who help you to raise your child as young as he is. Very, very impressive young man. The God son of my mother. And I am feeling it so hard. Whenever I'm down, this is the person I come to. He's much younger than I am, but I take good advice from him. For the last three months, I've been making a passionate plea at the parish council, monthly meeting at the Manchester Municipal Corporation for the safety hazards on the Winston Jones, Shooters Hill, Spur Tree, and on the Melrose Hill. There are three crash spots in Manchester, and last night was a tragic night. My calls, I'm renewing 
all my calls again that some precautions must be taken. One, the Winston Jones Highway is a little bit rough and unsafe. The surface needs to be addressed. I'm calling on the NWA. The lighting on the highway, even though JPS came three months ago because I highlighted the issue and the lights have been repaired, the highway is still very dark. By international standards, it is still poor. And now, this also proves the point. Even if you drive good upon the road, you have to look out for the other individuals upon the road. We might not be or be in the rules and regulations of the road by a speed. I might have do other things while driving. And sometimes, in a certain collisions, certain people are maintaining the facts say they have the right away, which they might very well have. But sometimes, if you avoid situations like this on the road, you best just pay attention and do whatever you can if you avoid and keep in mind, we can't speak for everybody, but people you know, leave from wherever they may go, driving to wherever they may try to reach, and I say, you know what? They may go drive fast and make them carry get out of control. I do something with them. So the best solution for that, for trying off a speed, our next solution, if a motorist use the roads, in the right way. Be mindful and respectful of other motorists with upon the road too. Because one individual's actions or decision can lead to three individuals I lose them lives. Of course, condolences to the family. And this is another situation about who right and who wrong. It's already take place. But the lesson is learned for the other people who are drive on the road now, see this or hear about this. For no say, oh, what you know? Only pass speeding up on the road, it doesn't make no sense. Drive safely upon the road. And to the reason I get my sentiments for you and yours is, of course, for to live, love, and prosper. I want to stay tuned.